Hi guys, just thought I'd try and set this up inspired by a short by Electro 5. Uh, it's a Homer Polar motor. Homo Polar motor. I've done them before. I just rather like his setup. Um, he's got a metal frame like this. Uh, he's got a bit of copper wire coming out here, and then you've got the magnet there, and the magnet's on the bottom of the battery. And he actually uses this thick copper wire to act as the, I suppose you could call it a commutator almost. Um, my bit of wire is a bit too springy. You can see it's bouncing around there. And I'm using a, a very thin bit of wire there to actually make the contact. And away we go. Mine's a little bit unreliable, as you can see. It's, uh, I tried doing it with the thicker bit of copper, and I just can't get a light enough contact on it. Oh, and as you can see, it's all a bit bouncy. Oh, <laughs> I just liked his, I'll put a link obviously in the video description to his video. So I just thought it was a very neat video. Whereas mine, as we can see, is just not quite right. I've got a couple of magnets on the top there, but they're not actually touching the battery. I've bent the bit of wire down so we've got a point to minimize the friction at the top. And then, to say, at the bottom, I was getting too much friction with the thick bit of wire, so I've got a very thin bit on there to make the contact. But that's been a bit unreliable. I did try cheating, well, not cheating, just sort of going over the top using a lithium ion battery, which is rather more voltage. With that one, I can get it to run with that. I just thought that was being a bit excessive using a lithium ion. And again, as you can see, my wire is much too flexible. So it's bouncing around. Oh, I've got spark up there. <laughs> Gonna end up welding it. you are effectively just shorting out the motor of uh, the battery. I might actually have caused a problem there. Yeah, I think um, that's overdoing it a bit. Can you see the sparks at the top there? I don't know. <laughs> Might end up setting fires with the battery if I'm not careful. Yeah, it's welding itself at the top. That's what's happening there. <laughs> Too much power. So yeah, um, link in the video description to Electro 5's video. Yeah, that's warmed up a bit there. Don't do it with a lithium ion battery. I've done a bit more adjustment to it. 
and as you can see it's now spinning really well just with the ordinary one and a half volt battery i sharpened the point at the top so that's reduced the friction i do remember when we've done them before you actually make an indentation in the top there this one's got a little and we call it a nipple pointing out whereas if you just to tap a nail in there to make it a indentation instead then the point of your bearing up there goes into the indentation and holds it in the center because this goes off center if it runs for long enough but that's going okay at the moment I'll just say again, I've got some magnets at the top there that are magnetizing this steel wire so that the battery is actually attracted to the point of the wire. So that's the bearing surface. And the current flows around along the copper wire and makes contact with the bottom of the battery through those magnets. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know I'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists, thanks again.